Manchester City displayed their title credentials as they came from behind to beat Arsenal 2-1 at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal began the game on the front foot and eventually took the lead just after the half-hour mark when Boke Osaka guided the ball past Ederson and into the bottom corner. The second half started evenly but City drew level in the 57th minute. Granit Xhaka pulled down Bernardo Silva inside the box and after a VAR check, the visitors were awarded a penalty. Riyad Mahrez stepped up and sent Aaron Ramsdale the wrong way. Gabriel was sent off two minutes later for a second bookable offence after bringing down Gabriel Jesus. Seconds earlier, Gabriel Martinelli failed to find the back of the net from close range after a mix-up in the city defence led to Nathan A clearing the ball off the line. Pep Guardiola's side dominated from that point on and they took the lead in the third minute of injury time when Rodri pounced on Arsenal's inability to clear the ball away. Manchester City go 11 points clear of second-placed Chelsea. Arsenal, meanwhile, remain fourth after the loss. Background reading David Ornstein's January transfer window now bag women's football in 2021, Barca's dominance, Olympic hard take and they are lesbians, Stacey Arsenal's 2021, gradual improvement, Obama Young's misses and the year of Smith Row Manchester City's 2021, title victory, Bernardo Brilliance. What a game to start off 2022. You can keep yourself in the loop of the latest football news by following our news blog here. Abdiaziz Rashid January 1, 2022 at 10.22 a.m. Asked Guardiola says Arsenal with a better team speaking to BT Sport, Pep Guardiola said, Congratulations, they were better. We face a team who had six to seven days since the last game. We had two days and come back and didn't have a team. That's why we put one more player in the middle. It was difficult, we didn't have energy. We had many cases from COVID this season and injuries. Phil Foden, Kyle, Walker, today was back for the first time and in this period today we were incredibly tired. Arsenal were better today but football happens. Abdiaziz Rashid January 1, 2022 at 10.12 a.m. S. Stuivenberg left frustrated speaking to BBC, Arsenal assistant Albert Stuivenberg said, We are very frustrated with the outcome if you play a game like this against one of the best teams in the world. At the end to have zero points is frustrating because we should have won the game. On the potential penalty in the first half, Stuivenberg said, I think it is a penalty but I am looking for consistency. We have bar in place so why not check yourself as a referee? That did not happen so it is disappointing. We did really, really good, how many chances did they really create?